So this is the mausoleum which contains the final remains of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, the first president of Ghana. The protocol is that whilst we are here, and since he is the first president of Ghana, uh, we observe a minute of silence for him, and then the tour can continue. So I will crave your patience so that we do that for him, and that we can continue with the tour. May you still rest in peace. Now, since he died, and this is actually his third burial place. He was the president of Ghana until 1966, 24th of February, when his government was unfortunately overthrown in a military coup. But he wasn't in the country when that happened. He had traveled abroad. So he couldn't return home and had to go into exile in a country called Guinea, also in West Africa, where he was accepted and also made co-president of Guinea because of the role he also played in their independence struggle much later. That is why he lived till he fell sick in 1971 so they took him to Bucharest, Romania, for his medical treatment. That is why he died of prostate cancer. They're killing them white, they're jumping at the age of 63. So his body was embalmed and then taken back to Guinea, where he was given a state funeral and burial as co-president. But three months later, they transferred his body back to his family house in Ghana. Because at the time he died, unfortunately, his mother was then still alive. And he happened to be the mother's only child. So she was asking, they brought him back home. That is where he was until when Ghanaians thought he deserved a proper national honor. So this was built in 1991 by our then leader, called Jerry John Rawlings. So when he finished here, he was transferred from his family house to this place. So this is his third and hopefully the final one. It's built of Italian marbles and the architect is a Ghanaian. Back then, he was one of the leaders on the continent who believed and promoted African unity what we call Pan-Africanism. So, and eventually among those who formed the Continental Union, we now call the African Union. So to give a more practical expression to that, he married an African. His wife was an Egyptian called Fatia Nkrumah. She died just in 2007, back home in Egypt. But not long after her death, the news came from their children that on her sick bed, one of her wishes was to be buried next to him. So that request was put across to the then government. It was agreed. So they brought her back, gave her also a state funeral, and eventually her remains were brought. So she is also laid to rest on the other side of the mausoleum. So we can have a look at where she's also laid to rest.
So fam, that's Dr. Kwame Nkrumah Memorial right here, 1909 to 1972, and this is his wife. Uh, I've never seen some roots rub this. That's it right there, family. The black saw right there. This is Kwame and Kuma Memorial.